हेलो एवरी वन आई एम सोहम आई एम फ्रॉम द सिटी ऑफ मुंबई इन महाराष्ट्र एंड आई एम करेंटली इन क्लास टेंथ सो आई वॉज इन नाइन्थ बैक लाइक फॉर द प्रीवियस अकेडमिक ईयर मूविंग टू टेंथ एंड आई हैव बीन आई हैड बीन सेलेक्टेड फॉर द ओ सी एस सी कैम्प फॉर द जूनियर साइंस ओलम्पिया द जूनियर साइंस ओलम्पिया इट इज बेसिकली इट्स फिजिक्स केमिस्ट्री बायोलॉजी एंड इट्स अ मोड फॉर क्वालिफिकेशन for the representation in the indian team for the international junior science olympiad which is going to be held this year in thailand where people from all uh, around the world uh, they come congregate and take part in various science activities spanning through theory examinations and practicals as well right yeah so as to what keeps you motivated i think nothing motivates more than the fact that you are going to get to learn something now learning is a process that goes on throughout the life right like there is a very popular saying life never stops teaching and therefore you should never stop learning and the fact that through this olympiad some amount of exposure you are going to get the amount the interactions that you will have with your peers across the country or possibly even across the world the interactions you would have with several professors uh, so the, your teachers and yeah like so that itself is a very good learning experience not only like academically but also overall like the holistic learning that we say common nahi waise pressure to nahi hai kyunki ant mein to baat yahi hai ki jab aap india ko represent kar rahe ho wo ek bahut garv ki baat hoti hai aur uske sath hame sirf ek cheez yaad rakhni hai ki apna khud ka best dena hai jo hum kehte hai ki always give your best to hame खुद हमें ऐसा नहीं रखना चाहिए कि खुद की तैयारी किधर कम हो गई कि हम लोग अंत में तो हम लोग देश को ही अंतर्राष्ट्रीय स्तर पर रिप्रेजेंट कर रहे हैं तो इस कारण बहुत एक बात है और उसके अलावा नर्वस मैं नहीं मतलब थोड़ा सा तो होता ही है नर्वसनेस क्योंकि बात तो है कि अंत में वो है क्या एक कॉम्पिटिशन है एक प्रतियोगिता है जहाँ पर आप कुछ लिखोगे कोई और कुछ लिखेगा या करेगा और उसके जो जैसा आपने लिखा है जैसा आपने किया उसके बेसिस पे आपको कुछ अंक मिलेंगे पर अंकों को छोड़ के आपको जो एक्सपीरियंस मिलेगा जो एक्सपोजर मिलेगा आप आ, अलग अलग देशों विविध राज्यों से लोगों से बात करोगे और बहुत कुछ आप ग्रहण कर सकते हो ऐसे कैंप्स या ओलम्पियाड से तो उसका एक अलग ही मज़ा रहता है और वो तो ज़रूर आनंद की बात है बहुत और हाँ एक्साइटेड भी हुई कि Uh, ये जैसे आपने कहा शुरुआत में कि नवंबर से ये ये जो है ये चालू हो जाता है पूरा uh, जो प्रोसेस है कैंप का तो हाँ तो अंत में आके ये अभी जून चालू हो गया और उसमें सारे जो रिजल्ट है फाइनल वो आ गया है तो खुशी की बात तो है आनंद भी है और साथ ही साथ uh, थोड़ी सी नर्वसनेस जो हम कहते हैं तो है पर ठीक है मजे की बात है ओके सो आई डोंट थिंक वी कैन रियली कंपेयर थियरी एंड प्रैक्टिकल बिकॉज बोथ आर टफ इन देयर ओन राइट बट फ्रॉम पर्सनल एक्सपीरियंस आई वुड से दैट या इट वाज डेफिनेटली द प्रैक्टिकल्स बिकॉज द प्रैक्टिकल्स फॉर वेरी नॉवेल लाइक दे आर नॉट समथिंग यू टिपिकली एक्सपेक्ट एंड थियरी लाइक इट हैज इट्स ओन चैलेंजेस बट लाइक द स्कोप ऑफ आई जे इट्स बेसिकली इट कवर्स फिजिक्स केमिस्ट्री बायो अप टिल लाइक द स्कूल एंड सम बेसिक हाई स्कूल लेवल पोर्शन and it focuses on conceptual understanding uh, that is one of the very important aspects and as far as like theory goes it's not hard in the traditional sense you need you need not know of lot of things but you should be able to apply whatever you know effectively and that's why practice and determination is obviously important and that's where like narayana comes in because the resource material that was provided and the teachers they were very uh, helpful in that regard and with regards to time management Uh, like you need to give certain time to physics chemistry bio or just general it boosts your confidence basically if you give some examination or some sort of the peer group that you get you interact with them you analyze yourself so it gives you confidence in a positive way obviously so yeah th- that's where uh, i was helped the most and practicals it's like field work is completely different than theory so it's very enjoyable obviously and yeah the exposure provided it is like a stepping stone to what you would do next so even though there is a factor of unpredictability it's still very helpful to have some sort of backing in that regard 
yeah so first of all i would like to say that definitely we need people attempting these examinations right because a uh, lot of people they have uh, they, they like it's basically about discovering what you like to do so the the junior science the one of the reasons it is there and it uh, encompasses all aspects physics chemistry bio is that it gives you exposure for even the senior science olympiads which are subject specific and that is why this is a very unique experience so definitely uh, attempt the junior science olympiad and whatever like you know you have certain amount of uh, let's say like you know your own skill set you need to capitalize on that and for that all you need to do is ensure that you're determined towards a certain target for example for ncjs you know that physics chemistry bio uh, like they are going to ask certain subjects in that and you know maybe okay i i find this stuff so i need to prioritize things right so time management is an important aspect of that and yeah seek uh, support of your mentors friends family teachers and yeah that, that's all like apart from that all you need is your own honesty and dedication and hard work obviously yeah so that's it so right now i'm 15 and i would say like my birthday just happened recently so 14 right like, yeah so that's what that's when i started preparing for ij so and okay. and as far as like preparation goes we need to realize that this is a, this is not like a single stage examination where like <coughs> sorry you are going to prepare for a very long time and then just give the examination like that's what people people tend to equate this with school examinations and that's not really how this is it's more of an experience it's a journey at every stage you'll encounter different types of uh, problems and different types of scenarios and you need to figure out different types of way to deal with them so ncjs typically happens in uh, november that's the first stage so yeah i prepared a couple of months i started preparing couple of months uh like behind that i would say so for ev- so it's like it's not tailor made it's different for everybody like how much time they need to prepare some people may be able to do it in one month some people may take six months and so on basically they ask like high school level portion so i would say like last year may june july like whatever time was comfortable and the <coughs> and a unique thing is about this is that the preparation never stops once you start you always want to be doing something like uh, because uh, ha huh. one of the thing is that it provides more practice and another thing is that it exposes you to new arenas that you may not have explored prior so yeah so let's see right now in relatively long term you could say i would also like to attempt a few senior science olympiads because for senior science olympiads you get 3 years of attempts and particularly i'm interested in uh, the subjects of physics uh, chemistry astronomy and mathematics yeah i have uh, like i have I haven't decided like committed to anything at this stage because now obviously the camp just got over but yeah that's what uh, my near future goals are and in general like i would like to enjoy learning the sciences because uh, e- even in the future because i find that uh, the subject of sciences like we d- we tend to divide them into pcb but in general the sciences they are very inter- i find them very interesting and uh, educative so and like with regards to how the narayana has supported me it's more of like the kind of connect that i get because it's not just that uh, like some teacher has just helped me in a particular topic it's like there's a co- like it's a continuous connect throughout the like everlasting basically yeah so uh, for example if i have some difficulty in some concept i'm sure i can reach out to the teacher but it's more of like they will provide me tips they they last me to go beyond and that is what uh, is like helps a lot basically <laughs> Hello I am Sonali Pedneker I am mother of Soham Pedneker and we come from the city of Mumbai yeah so it was a very good uh, learning for uh, me also as a parent jo journey soham ne cover ki pure ek saal mein and now it's a very proud moment ki wo india ko represent karega along with the team for the IJSO 2023 and isme main kahungi is journey mein uh, jo uske mentors the khas karke Narayana Institute se unka bahut bahut bada हाथ रहा 
एंड बहुत मैं मतलब नो आई एम इंडेटेड टू देम फॉर एवर बिकॉज जैसे मैं बोल रही हूँ सिखाना एक चीज़ रहती है जो कि बहुत लोग सिखा देते हैं बट एक जो पर्सनल टच रहता है जो कनेक्ट रहता है बच्चों के साथ उन्होंने हर फैकल्टी ने और फैकल्टी नहीं जो उनके मेंटर्स भी थे उन्होंने हमेशा वो सोहम के साथ रखा एंड आई एम श्योर सबके साथ ही रखा जो भी नारायणा स्टूडेंट्स थे तो उससे सोहम को बहुत हेल्प किया इमोशनली मेंटली वो जो स्टेबिलिटी थ्रू आउट द प्रोसेस रहती है उसके लिए बिकॉज इट्स नॉट जस्ट वन एग्ज़ाम यहाँ यू नो आफ्टर वन स्टेज अनदर स्टेज थर्ड स्टेज एंड हर स्टेज की अपनी अपनी दोस्त ये अलग ये रहती है तो उसके लिए आई एम रियली थैंकफुल टू द नारायणा टीम नहीं हर स्टेज के लिए वैसे अभी ये बच्चे तो खुद ही इक्विप रहते हैं वैसे तो वो अपने हिसाब से ब्रेक्स भी लेते हैं बट जैसे मैं कहूँगी सबसे बड़ा हाथ जो था हमको छोड़ दीजिए रियली हम तो बस मतलब मैं तो खाली खाना बनाना उठाना उतना ही किया रहा होगा बट जो टीचर्स रहता है वो उनका ही रहता है मैं अभी भी मानती हूँ क्योंकि वो स्पेसिफिक फोकस हम नहीं दिला सकते इट्स अ वेरी फास्ट पेस जनरेशन और एग्जाम की लेवल भी बहुत हाई है तो उसमें मैं यही मानूंगी एंड आई विल स्टेक टू दैट पॉइंट कि जो भी प्रोसेस था वो थ्रू आउट द जर्नी कहाँ पे कब क्या करना है उसमें टीचर्स का ही बड़ा हाथ है हम तो बस मतलब बच्चे को हैप्पी रखे यहाँ वहाँ घुमाए होंगे खाना पिए दिया दैट्स ऑल